Here's something I made myself from a Harbor Freight um, straight die grinder. This had an attachment on it, or it had the uh, straight attachment on there for the uh, straight die grinder from Harbor Freight. And, uh, you know, it's a Chicago Electric straight die grinder. Electric state straight die grinder. And I bought, bought the um, $13 90 degree 90 degree head for the uh, air powered die grinder. This this bolt, this uh, collar right here screws right into here. Well, had to make my own threads. Screwed that in there, locked tight, and then the the uh, the gear the gear you unscrew off the air powered die grinder, which is an eight millimeter, and then you face off the end of this uh, shaft that's on here. Face that off. It has. Uh, no threads in it, so you have to drill and put eight millimeter threads. Put a short stud bolt in there. Holds the uh, gear on there from the air powered one over to the electric one. And then the uh, the important thing, which I don't know what the dimension is, but the important thing is the length of the shaft that's inside here. I can't tell you what it, size it is or how long it is, but because uh, I didn't measure it, I just kind of it was a trial and error thing. So yeah, it, it works pretty good. You got uh, I'm gonna give it a shot tomorrow. This is a uh, I use it for sanding corners on wood floors, or you can use it for anything. You can put yourself a cutter attachment on there, cut metal with it. Um, the ones they have now are just little toy one amp toys, and this thing is like uh, I think this thing's like four amps. These things draw like four amps. Yeah, you can see it there, 4.3 amps. So it's quite a deal more uh, robust, stronger. This thing will really kick some butt. All right.